Jesus save you know what am I to go? Ah. Who's this? Hey bro, this is for you. Hey, is everything okay with Crayford? Physical or auto autocation? What is that? Did he hurt himself with a pencil or maybe a pen? A fight! My son! There's no way. Did you mean to call my Tyson son or maybe Ford Mayweather? Hey! Okay, I am on my way. When I get there, I'm going to kill you. Bye bye. Hey, Crayford! To leave work because of you. Crayford, today you are going to fight me. Hey! Hey! And where do you think you are going? Dad, I'm going to my room. You no longer have a room here. You are going to sleep on the floor for a week. Fighting in school. Crayford, where are you learning this? It's not from me, oh, because you know me, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Is it those movies that you be watching? Eh? Is that what got you thinking that you can go to school and do things like this? Crayford, the only thing you should be fighting against is bad grades. Dad, you don't understand. Understand what? Crayford, what don't I understand? I know what fighting is because when I was your age, I had to fight every single day. From the time I woke up, I had to fight because I had a lot of brothers and sisters. And when my mother made food, I had to fight my way to get some of that food because if I didn't fight Crayford, they would eat all the food. After eating and getting ready for school, I had to walk 44 miles to school up mountains, down mountains, facing all types of weather. I had to cross a lake. And in that lake, there was crocodiles and there was alligators. I don't know how they became friends, but they were there together and I had to fight them. After fighting them and escaping them across the river, Crayford, there was this goat. There was this goat that used to stand right in the road and they wouldn't move. Have you ever had to deal with a stubborn goat before? I had to fight that goat so that I can cross that, that road and get to school. And when I got to school, I was very happy to be there. I did not act out. I did not uh, uh, fight anyone because I fought enough to get there. Now I was fighting to get straight A's and to be top of my class. And you, you have it so easy. You don't have any siblings here that you have to fight them for food. You, you, when you go to school, either I drop you, the school bus drop you, or somebody will drop you to school. You don't fight for nothing. And then you get to school and you want to be my Tyson? Azuma! Azuma, please! I understand what fighting is. So, explain to me what I don't understand. Dad, I'm not a fighter, but there's this kid at school that keeps picking on me for no reason. Every day it gets worse. He tells everybody that Africans sleep on trees and we live with animals. Dad, I let it all go. You know that is not true. So why do you let that bother you? Dad, I had enough. Today, he started calling me African Booty Scratcher over and over and over. African Booty Scratcher. What does that even mean? And again, Dad, I continue to ignore it. But then some other kids started calling me African Booty Scratcher. That was the point that I knew if I didn't stand up for myself, that dad, this was gonna live with me the whole school year. So I got up and I told him to stop calling me African Booty Scratcher. Then he opened his mouth and called me an African Booty Scratcher again. So dad, I punched him in his mouth. Well, he deserved that punch in the mouth. Yeah, dad, you see? No, no, Crayford, no. I didn't mean that. Violence is never the answer. There's a big lesson to be learned here. 
I know words can hurt. They really do. But your actions can hurt you even more. Because even though that kid in school is in the wrong, but he never put his hands on you, did he get suspended too? No, he didn't. You see, even though he started all of this, now he is the victim. I bet your teacher thinks that you are the bad one. You are the troubled one. You are the one with parents that have given you no home training, but we are home training you to be a fighter. So dad, what was I supposed to do? You should have told your teacher, then I'll be labeled as a snitch. Then you should have came home and told me about all the things that's going on and I would have went to your school and told them to fix it. Oh no, dad, that will be worse. I'll be labeled as a baby, a daddy's boy that had to run to his dad to come rescue him. It doesn't matter. Crawford, Nana Kwami Owusu, you know who you are. You know what you are not. Do not let anyone's words affect you so much that it takes you outside of your character. Crawford, You've been to Ghana many times. You know we don't sleep on trees. You know we don't live with animals. So when uneducated people speak, use that opportunity to educate them. Speak your truth. If they don't want to hear it and they are too ignorant to take it, then Crawford, leave them. But do not get to the point where you are trying to use violence to speak to them. Crawford, you can be persecuted for that. You can go to jail for that and your whole future will be ruined. Crawford, focus in school. Ignore all that nonsense. Rise above the foolishness. Become successful. And Criff, that's how you will beat them. Did you hear what I said? When you become successful, they will see you and they will be beaten. You don't have to raise a hand. That is how you hit them. Okay, Dad. I hear you. You're right. Thank you for explaining to me what was going on. I understand now. But I hope you also understand where I'm coming from. Crawford, beat them the right way. Okay? Beat them with success. Okay. You can go to your room. Go and rest. Okay? Okay, Dad. Father God, I pray for my son. Please, give him strength. Guide him. I see that it's not easy. Uh, being an African kid, nobody knows how hard it is. Uh, I gotta play it cool whenever I'm in school. Uh, it's a game.